Math Day 85 with Grandma. Here is our poem for the day. Tears from Heaven. Snowflakes fill the winter sky, frozen tears when heavens cry. Try to catch one on your nose, a gust of wind, and there it goes. How many flakes are in the air? And then add them all with extra care. Here's a hint, a little clue. Tilt your head to see a new. Three, six, nine. <clears throat> Here's Cindy Neuschwander's second book in the Circumference series, Circumference and the Dragon of Pi, illustrated by Wayne Gehan. Circumference and his sun radius sat in the shade of a tree, enjoying a delicious midday meal. Partway through the lunch, Circumference grabbed his stomach and doubled over in pain. Oh, my belly, he wailed. It feels like fire. Radius, run to the castle, find the good doctor, and get me a cure. Radius ran to the castle and up a winding staircase to the doctor's workroom. The doctor was out. Radius entered the mysterious place full of plants and potions. What should I do, he wondered. Father's in great pain. I've got to bring him something. Radius looked at several bells. Bones, he murmured. This says fire belly. Father has a fire in his belly. Maybe this will cure it. Radius picked up the bottle and hurried back to circumference. The knight gratefully took the bottle and gulped the liquid down. Kaboom! Circumference disappeared and Dragon now sat on the grass. Ah! Screamed Radius! Where is my father? Here hissed the dragon, flame slithering out of his mouth. Help me! It pleaded and belched puffs of smoke into it. I feel beastly! Its arms pedaled widely as its tail thrashed back and forth. Goes the knights. They see the puff of smoke over here, and here's Radius running. Don't worry, Father, I'll get help. And Radius called over his shoulder as he ran back towards the castle. The guards on watch had seen the big explosion. When the smoke cleared, they saw the dragon and alerted everyone in the castle to the danger. Planes were made, messengers were sent across the countryside to ask nearby knights to come and vanquish the fire breathing beast. Mother called out Radius as he heard in the face. Oh, there you are, answered his mother. Lady died of amateur and looked relieved. Come inside quickly. A dragon has been spotted nearby. I know, Radius answered. It's father. Radius told his mother what had happened. We must find another potion that will change your father back into himself. I'll go look for the doctor, she said. We don't have much time. The knights plan to say, slay the dragon tomorrow morning. Radius ran back to the doctor's workroom. He looked at the drawings and notes. He searched inside boxes and bags. He searched through book after book. Finally, he spotted a curious-looking container with a set of spoons and a poem. It might be the cure. The circles measure. Measure the middle and circle around. Divide so a number can be found. Every circle, great and small, the number is the same for all. It's also the dose, so be clever, or a dragon he will stay forever. <clears throat> measure the middle and circle around, thought Radius. I bet Geo of Mitri can help. Carpenters measure things every day. Geo was with his brother, Sim. When Radius arrived at their workshop, they were looking at a wheel Sim had made. No matter where you look around the circle, the spokes go across the middle and cut the circle exactly in half, Sim said. Such a lovely design, complimented Geo.
When Radius heard across the middle and around the circle, he had an idea. He needed to go back and reread the poem. Goodbye, he called as he rushed out. As he ran through the kitchen, he saw his cousin, Ladyfingers. She was baking pies. She mothered strips of go into equal length with the span of her fingers. Help me finish the last pie, please, she pleaded. Radius thought about Sim's wheel. He arranged the strips on the pie like spokes. There are three strips left over. He draped them around the rim of the pie pan. One, two, three strips go almost all the way around the edge. Pinky, may I have a little more dough, asked Radius. Pinky was Ladyfinger's nickname. Lady Fingers handed him another strip of dough. Radius folded it in half, but half was longer than he needed. He folded it into quarters, but even a quarter of the piece was too long. He folded it in eighths. An eighth was almost right. Almost, but not exactly. Pinky, I gotta get going. So, three strips plus a little more. A little less than an eighth. Radius knew the magic number was more than three, but exactly how much more did it take to make a whole circle? Back in the workshop, Radius found Geo's measuring tape, a long strip of cloth marked in inches. He measured 49 inches across the middle of the wheel and 154 inches around the edge. 154 divided by 49 is three and a seventh, he figured out. Radius measured big wheels and small wheels. Every time the distance was three and a seventh times the distance across. He stuffed the measuring tape into his pocket and ran off to the doctor's room. As Radius ran around the corner, he saw his mother coming down. There you are, Lady Dad cried. I can't find the doctor. What are you going to do? It's all right, Mother. I know what to do. He showed her how he figured out the magic number. He measured an onion slice, a basket, a bowl, and a round cheese. Lady do some diagrams to show the measurements. This makes sense. Good work. I'll go and tell your father while you get the medicine. Don't forget, we only have till the morning. The onion is three and a half inches and almost 11 inches around. The bowl is seven inches and about 22 inches around. This bowl is 14 and about 44 inches around. The cheese wedge is 17 and a half inches and about 55 inches around. One small wedge was two and a half inches. Radius ran back to the doctor's workroom to get the medicine. I think I understand these directions, but if I measure the wrong dose, Father will remain a dragon forever. I must be sure I'm right, said Radius. He sat down to reread the poem. As he read, his eyelids slowly closed, soon he was fast asleep. When Radius woke, the sun was rising. Oh, no, I must hurry, he said, and he grabbed the medicine and headed towards the woods. The smoke and flames led him right to circumference the dragon. The sleeping dragon was lying in a circle with its tail in its mouth. Just then opened one eye and his Oh, son. Father, you're a circle, too, but such a big circle. Radius looked at the dragon doubtfully. Could this distance around the dragon circle really be three and one seventh the time the distance across? Just then he heard the blaring of trumpets. Hurry, Radius, Lady Di said, the knights are coming. Mother, said Radius, hold this part of the tape while I measure across the middle of the dragon circle. Circumference cried out, Why are you measuring my diameter? As he spoke, his fiery breath burned the measuring tape, so Radius could barely read the number. It looked like seven feet, but was it? Together, Radius and Di measured 22 feet around the outside of the dragon circle. Circumference wouldn't. Must you measure my circumference now? Radius quickly divided 22 by 7. Hurrah! The circumference of the, circumference of the circle divided by the dammer was 3 and 1 seventh. Now the knights were surrounding them with swords drawn. Radius, Lady Di, we've come to save you, they shouted. It was now or dragon forever. Radius gave the creature 3 and a seventh spoonfuls. Cup of Rome! A big explosion shook the forest. 
When the smoke cleared, a hearty human circumference stood in the midst. Circumference leaned over and hugged his son. Thank you, Radius. But how did you do it? Radius explained about the pie, P-I-E, and the measurements. Circumference and the knights listened with amusement. Cheering, they swept Radius up on their shoulders and returned to the castle. Pies! Let's eat some pies, sighed the circumference. Radius saved my life because of the pie. At the celebration, Radius held up a pie and explained what he had discovered. I found out that the outside edge of a circle called the circumference is three and one-seventh times as long as the diameter, which is the measurement across the middle. It's true for any circle. I say we honor this new discovery, said Circumstance. From now on, a pie with an E will be for eating. Pie without an E will be the name of the number for all things round. Geo and Sim stepped forward and gave Radius a present. This is a drawing compass. May it lead you to even greater discoveries about circles, they said. And Radius had the seat of honor for the entire pie celebration, which lasted three days, three hours, and 24 minutes. Pi is an interesting number. We often represent it with the 16th letter of the Greek alphabet, pi. It's usually expressed as a decimal, 3.14159. The part to the right of the decimal point is about a seventh. And it's why on March the 14th, three, the third month, the 14th day, 314, we often eat pi and call it pi day, P-I.